guys and welcome back for another tutorial. Today I'm going to be doing something really fun. I am doing a collaboration video with Whitney Sews. I'm so excited. We've been doing this for about a couple months now trying to go back and forth, figure out what we want to do and we finally figured it out. So today is the day. Um, so we both decided we were going to do something quilted related. So here is what she made. She made this beautiful paper piece quilt block. And definitely, if you like what you see, then head on over to her channel. All the links will be in the description box below. So comment on her video, tell her Ashley sent you, and definitely give her a thumbs up and subscribe, show her some love. And if you're from Whitney's, hi, I'm Ashley, this is my channel. I do sewing, crocheting, and crafty videos. So I hope you check out some of my other stuff. And for everyone, follow me on my Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook. I'm very active on all three of those. So I would love to see what you guys make. So definitely share with me if you make any of my tutorials. So let's get into my tutorial. So today I'm going to be showing you how to make this really beautiful no-sew quilted ornament. Isn't it absolutely beautiful? It is so easy to make and it definitely gets heads turning when people see your Christmas tree. It is a perfect gift idea and also if you're into those crafty fairs, it is something you could definitely sell. So it's double sided and today we're going to be working with cotton, straight pins, a three inch styrofoam ball and some beautiful ribbon. So if you're interested in learning how to make this, then definitely stick around. Okay, so the first thing we are going to do is cut our fabric. You're going to choose two different types of fabric for this design. You're going to have your main fabric and then an accent fabric. So I chose to do the poinsettia as my accent fabric and the main fabric is going to be my polka dot. For all the measurements and everything you need for this project, you can find that at my blog which is charmedbyashley.com and all those links will be in the description box below. So. You will cut out your squares and then you will cut out a long strip of fabric and hem the sides and then you will fold up the short sides and hem that as well and we're not going to use this fabric just yet so we're going to place that to the side. So here are my pins. I just got a pack of straight pins with a very very small head and here are my squares ready to go and then I used a 3 inch styrofoam ball. So I'm just going to get my pins prepared. It is a good idea if you have a thimble as it does get a little bit sore on your fingertips and if you're making multiples of these then you're definitely going to want a thimble because it does start to hurt after a while. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to take your squares and you're going to fold them in half and then fold it again. And you're only doing this so that you can find the center point of your fabric. So just press it a little bit and then when you go to open it up you'll be able to see that little crease where your center point is. And then you're going to place a pin into the fabric through the wrong side, like so. And then you'll find your center point of your ball which will be anywhere at this point. So you're just going to stick it into your ball and then you will fold your fabric down like so. And then after you're going to turn this little piece of fabric into a triangle. So you're going to pull down one side and then pull down the other side. So you have your triangle like so. And then you're going to take your pins and you're going to pin down the corners and you could do one where my thumb is but you don't have to. I just find that it's a little wasteful because you're going to end up using a lot of pins. So once you have this one placed, then we will start to place our next one. It's a good idea to maybe prepare all of your little squares just so things get a little bit faster. I just, you know, creased all my little squares, put the pin in and then just set them aside and then I can just go one after the other. So now I'm going to go into the exact same spot with my next pin, just, you know, putting it as close as I can to the first one. And again, we're going to fold it down and then we will make that triangle again. So I'm sure you can probably see where I'm going with this, but we're going to do it two more times and then that will be the base of our ball. You will have a star in the center, so just make sure that whatever fabric you use 
for this part, it's the one that you want to see in that little star shape. Okay, so this is how it should look after you've placed four of your triangle pieces. And they might not be going together perfectly, but that's okay if it overlaps in some areas. Now we're gonna start on the next one. So I'm using a different fabric here, and of course I'm going to be creasing the fabric and finding my center point. And now I'm going to be working in the space between the triangles. So not in the center of the triangle, in between the pieces of fabric. So I measured about a quarter of an inch down from the center of the ball and I will place that pin. So you're just going to make sure that when you do make the triangle that it is somewhat symmetrical on either side and it looks like there's about a quarter of an inch of that triangle underneath showing also. If things don't look perfect though, by the time you get to your next couple rounds, you'll be able to adjust some of the fabric from the first two rounds. So don't worry if it doesn't look perfect just yet. So I'm going to keep going, adding my second piece of fabric, making sure that it is in between the previous row of triangles. And every time we do a round, we're going to put four pieces of fabric. So as long as you've done four for every round, then you don't have to worry. And they all will be symmetrical where they are placed, across from each other, you know what I mean. Very, very easy stuff. So at this point, your fingers are probably feeling a little bit tender. That is what I am talking about. <laughs> you might get calloused if you decide that you want to make a lot of these without a thimble. Okay, so you placed your second round of four pieces of fabric. Now we're going to go ahead and do the next round and we're going to stick with that same fabric from round two. But we're going to go in between the previous round. And you can now see the center star is starting to show up. It almost looks like ribbon tails when you go to place this next piece of fabric. It's starting to look really, really pretty. So I'm gonna keep going and I'm going to do my third and fourth piece. And then we are going to go back to our previous fabric, which would be the polka dot, or you could switch it up. It's totally up to you. This is your ornament. And now we are going to go again in between the previous row down a quarter of an inch from that point and we're going to start placing our triangles again. This is going to be the second to last round. So you're just going to keep going. I'm going to speed it up a little bit so you guys can see. And basically these next two rows are just going to create uh, another star around the middle star and then also just fill in the gaps. Now I'm going to work on the last round and keep in mind that this is only half of the ornament so we're going to be doing the other side in the identical way. I'm not going to show you how to do that obviously because you can just re-watch the beginning of the tutorial to be able to do that but just know that everything we just did we're going to do it again. So I'm going to go ahead and do that off camera and the magic of video here it is. So obviously it doesn't look too great. We have um, this messy center bit. So that first piece of fabric that we had at the beginning that we hemmed, we're gonna take that and we're gonna use our hot glue gun and we're going to place that along the outside of our ball to basically just hide that messiness. So there's not really any other easy way to do this other than just hot gluing it. So I'm going to do a little bit at a time going around it making sure that I catch all the pieces of fabric and then we're going to grab some pretty ribbon and we'll cut about an 8 to 10 inch piece and before we finish placing that strip of fabric we're going to tuck that underneath place a pin for extra security 
And then we'll finish gluing that strip of fabric. And then you can take your ribbon and, you know, you can make a bunch of loops. Just use your hot glue gun to put the loops together and then just stack them all and then you can just glue that right onto the ball and that will kind of hide the seam and also add some more visual interest. Um, I don't entirely love the ribbon that I chose, I kind of just had it. So I would definitely get something a little bit more festive and fun, but you get the idea. So again, I just want to say thank you so much, Whitney, for doing this collaboration with me. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, give me a thumbs up, comment if you have any questions. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that little red bell and follow me on my Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook. Thanks so much for watching and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.